Woods here at City Walk at Universal Orlando. Hey. What are we going to do today? Uh, maybe Velocicoaster. Coaster. We'll see how the line is. And we're going to look at some annual pass holder merch. Yep. So let's get into the park. The Lighthouse, Tide of the Adventure. And they're still advertising Velocicoaster. Love it. Just made it into the park. There was no wait to get in. Uh, and it doesn't look too crowded here either. Uh, so we're going to head over to Jurassic World area, or Jurassic Park. They have the gift shop, the, the uh, what do you call it, the annual pass holder stuff in the Toon Lagoon area. So we're going to head over there, and then we'll head over to Jurassic Park. <laughs> for the second time, not today, but in general. Uh, loved it, of course. She's a little iffy about it, right? I'm getting there. Um, but we're just sitting in here in the Discovery Center right now, just mm -hmm. catching some fresh air. Uh, but we're going to show you some stuff that we got. If you can hear me, this is the pass holder magnet that we're giving out. One of these eggs over here is just the pass holder pin. And these two are free uh, if you have a pass. And then we bought the pass holder. It's pretty cool, so this is the stuff that we got. the park for too long but we do have dinner reservations at Animal Kingdom at Yak and Yeti so we're gonna head over there now uh, but before we head out we just wanted to show you guys we got a little bit of a booster from Starbucks and a vanilla bean and she got the pass holder exclusive island tea is that what it's called yep. yep and they're very good so back to the parking lot and off to Animal Kingdom And just like that, we made it to Animal Kingdom. So we're gonna go do a few rides, some shops, and then we're gonna go have our dinner at Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti, let's go. Hi, Agnes. Oh, 
first ride of Animal Kingdom, dinosaur. We gotta go save the Iguanodon. We love an empty dinosaur ride. 10 minute wait, more like walk on. Carnotaurus. I'm counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've gotta get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen now. We might just have to wait a little bit, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully it moves out pretty quickly, uh, but the lightning is pretty intense right now. And it's starting to rain now. raining for the most part so we're gonna go do the Kilimanjaro safari hopefully the weather holds off it's kind of storming all around us but it seems to have stopped just on top of us all right I lied everyone it's raining again so we're just gonna have to keep waiting it out until we can either go have dinner at 7 30 or get on uh, Kilimanjaro safari trying to get over to the safari, right? And uh, what keeps happening? Oh, it just keeps downpouring. <laughs> like every, every few minutes, every time we get close to a covering, it just opens up. So we're slowly but surely making our way over there. By the time we get there, it'll be dinner time. So yeah. we're just gonna sit here until it stops again. <laughs> No one's in line, none of the lights are on, and it's thundering. It's pretty nice. So it says 20 minutes, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna walk right onto it. Part of the board, slide on all the way into your left. Ciao, folks. How's that a wonderful job today, folks? And we are off. Twin day, let's go, folks. My name is Alex, and I'll be your personal tour guide for today's Safari Adventure. Right above you is an animal spotting guide, which will help you on our tour today. We won't, of course, be seeing all of those animals, but we tend to be really lucky. Camouflage themselves and hide themselves in the trees. Out there, this is by the rain. On our right-hand side, you can already see an okapi, my friends. The okapi has those black and white hind and front legs. Right in our left-hand side, my friends, you have the black oh. rhino up close and personal to us, my friends. Sometimes it's all the way out in the distance. Today, folks, you're lucky because we have it right here on our left-hand side. There's two black rhinoceros. Right now in our world, there's only a total of five, my friends. Those brown animals with the horns on his head are known as the bongos. Long time ago, discoverers thought that they were ghosts because at night time, the only things that were shown, the hippopotamus right below that water, a little bit submerging itself above the water, keeping its belly, or its uh, back rather, up inside the water. So a total of eight minutes long, my friends, eight minutes long. There's a group of Nile hippopotamus over there on our left-hand side behind that island. A group 
about not hooking your side folks, please remain seated at all times because we're going to cross the Nile crocodiles on our left hand side. Nile crocodiles, my friends. We're going to go fully, fully over this bridge, which means slowly, slowly, and slowly healing for your folks to see. Folks tend to pick at those tree trunks in order to look for rainwater. It's also known as the tree. This is even better than Splash Mountain, I should say. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's keep our eyes peeled if we see any more animals. Right now in the savannah, you can see, you can possibly see the giraffe thunder right now. The Koli cat are also known as a Wachusi cat. Four and less than a year ago, it's hiding beneath the branches of the tree over there. They tend to sleep for a total of third at home without any cover right over here. Just all standing in one place. They migrate in a group of 1.5 million as a group. Killer formation all facing separate directions to alert themselves to predators once they see a giraffe known as a tower. And right now since it's thundering outside, they might be a little bit afraid or scared, so we call that the Tower of Terror. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> side of the African elephant on the right hand side, my friends. Kind of walking away from us because it doesn't really appear to like us, but oh. hopefully if you say hello to it. Show, 30 minute increment shows which showcase a lot of the animals. They get their pinkish coloration from eating brine shrimp, but a lot of them right now are staying outside of the water, just on the island. Smart idea for an hour and three seconds, my friends. We'll stop for just a moment for y'all folks just to see a little bit of it. Their roars can actually be heard from five miles away. I'll stop for just a moment. You can see a closer up, up picture of that lion over there. Whenever they roar, you can hear the vibrations of the trucks and the cars rumbling. Their roar is that strong that it makes We're back in action. We're gonna have to run over whatever bags are like chilling on top of the chairs right there. <laughs> so cute. The Nigerian dwarf coats come in a blackish, blackish, brownish, and whitish coloration. On top of that, their milk is very nutritious and is a hot commodity in Africa. Sat down for dinner at Yakinyeri after a wonderful ride on Kilimanjaro uh, awesome. in the rain. <laughs> this is the menu. Basically just like hibachi kind of food, noodles, rice, chicken, stuff like that. So I got the chicken lo mein with no veggies and you got chicken lo mein as it comes. So we'll show you the food when it gets here. The food has just arrived. Time to dig in. So hungry. Sorry it's a little foggy, but uh, we just finished dinner at Yak and Yeti. Where are you? There I am. Um, but like I said, it's a little foggy. It's finally stopped raining. Yes. Um, we just saw Everest running. The park closes in like two minutes. It's still closed. Uh, but I think it's closed. Yeah, yeah, I think they're just running it to get them into the barn. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to uh, make our way out now. Yep. Slowly but surely making our way out. Like we said earlier, we're probably the last, what, 20 people in the park? Yeah, Yak and Yeti is busiest. Yeah, I think everyone's at Yak and Yeti, but everything else is closed and empty. First of all, let's apologize for the lighting. We're, we're in the car and it's dark out. Um, but that's going to do it for our day at um, Universal. I forgot we went there already. Yeah. And uh, here at Animal Kingdom, as you saw, it was a pretty crazy um, ride on Kilimanjaro's. We literally got on and torrential downpour followed us uh, throughout the whole ride. Um, and it's actually raining again. We got wet getting out of the park. So yeah. uh, we're going to head back to Tampa. 
I might do some ship stuff tomorrow then, you know, whatever. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you whenever we come back to Disney World. We're definitely going to go to um, Epcot on September 15th for the uh, pass holder preview of Ratatouille. Yes, we have a pass holder preview of Ratatouille. I doubt they're going to let us film on it because it's not officially yeah. opened yet, but we'll let you, you know how know. it is. I mean, you can always look at the, the footage from... Or is it Paris that it's open already? Yeah, from Disneyland Paris. Paris, so I'm pretty sure yeah. they're identical. So that's um, definitely going to be our next trip. Yep, and then we'll also have Boobash booked for... September 24th, I think. September 24th, so uh, we got a few things booked for now, so stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you when we're here for Ratatouille. See ya.